Hey everyone, this is a quick little tutorial on how to use conditional formatting in Google Sheets when you're using it on a mobile. Um, that function does exist, but it's not the easiest place to find. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is highlight the data set that we want to conditionally format. And then I'm going to long press on the button, but it's the A at the top middle of the screen with the lines to the right. So hopefully you can see it when I long press on it here with the, the gray circular outline. We're going to click on that. It's going to bring up a dialog box that offers text at the top left or cell on the right. We're going to use the text um, section of this menu and we're going to go down to roughly the middle of our list and we're going to see conditional formatting. Go ahead and click on conditional formatting and it pulls up this fairly self-intuitive uh, um, conditional formatting menu. From here you see that they've already um, are using the range of data that we selected. And then we can format the cells uh, based on a variety of factors. And that is in this drop down list here. And if you don't see one that you want, you can obviously use the bottom option here, which is custom formula. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to select one that already exists. Um, let's go ahead and do less than or equal to. And we're going to say less than or equal to two is going to get a green color background with black text. But if we don't want that particular format, that's okay. We can go down here to custom and hit the plus sign and we can change the formatting. So down at the bottom here, you see fill color and text color and then some formatting here with the bold, italicized and underline just above that section of the menu. I'm gonna change the fill color. And to do that, I'm gonna to go to the basic tab and you get um, the standard colors at the top here in the range. But if we click on one of those, so in this case light blue, you get a range of colors within that blue that you can select. That's true for any one of these that you select. So let's do like a burnt orange here and then hit check mark box and then we're gonna save and add new. And it brings up the same data range and we can in this case do greater than or equal to three. Since we used whole numbers, this should catch everything in our list. And I'm gonna just select a, a predetermined um, color scheme and do this yellow with black font. Instead of save and add new in the middle of the screen, I'm gonna go to the top right and hit save, and then hit the check mark box in the top left. And if everything has gone through correctly, we unclick the data, we see that everything greater than equal to three is yellow with black uh, font and everything that's two or less is in this burnt orange font. So that's how you use uh, conditional formatting in the Google Sheets mobile version. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helped.